the, the American dream. You are working for the life where you don't have to work anymore and money just, that's who the fuck I am. really bring attention to the city for real. You about to be loud as fuck because of my name. Yeah, I know. They know I bring attention to this motherfucker. When they see these next two interviews, they gonna know. I put this young on. Oh, my mother. When it come to DMV, I swear to God, ask anybody. When you go out of town and you be like, yeah, you from the DMV, they gonna ask you, you know, ask Lizzie. I swear to God, it's nobody else. I, I, you, I never used to be, be like, shit, I used to be like, well, I swear to God, the mutual person to know from D.C. is Ag Lizzie. I swear to God, go out of town and try it. Go out of town and come up with a regular person and be like, man, where you from? Such that like, oh yeah, from DC. They go ask you, you know, Ag Lizzie. I swear to God, I'm not lying. You can be from DC or Maryland. They go, oh, you know, Ag Lizzie. When you say DC right now, they gonna say Ag Lizzie. They not gonna say Joe Biden. You they gonna say Joe Biden? You will hear Ag Lizzie before you hear Joe Biden. I'm sorry. <laughs> When you be like, man, yeah, man, what the fuck you from, from D.C., man? You know, I swear to God. <laughs> That's anywhere in the world, like anybody. You see what you know? You want me to take that out? I'm talking about the front. That's what's again. Do it twice. And say, I told a nigga I was, I was all of a sudden they asked me if I know you. No, nigga. <laughs> hey, nah, for real. That's a, hey, look, no. And then when the nigga say, Ag Lizzie, they be mad and shit. Like, that's what get you got up. When they be like, yeah, you know Ag Lizzie, nigga, I'm like, fuck that nigga. <laughs> they be mad and shit. They say Ag Lizzie. Like, they ain't gonna say nothing but Ag Lizzie. It's a... Yeah. And say, nah, they asked me about Savage, though. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm gonna be quiet. Nobody never in their life asks you nothing. <laughs> I'm be quiet, man. I'm gonna be quiet, man. Everything, everything, everything doesn't want an opinion. Okay. Uh, let me just be like, let me just be like, let me just be like. They say niggas be like, but the niggas that be like, be the niggas that be like. Free savage though, man. By the way. Because I must tell you. We ain't gonna act like since Savage been locked up, the DMV rap scene been some shit. But I'm gonna be quiet. I ain't gonna be a hater. Like, no funny, I knew this was No Savage went to jail on my mother. The DMV rap scene took a motherfucking hit. On my mother, you know Savage missing. Like, I feel him missing in the music. Like, I can be shut up, man. I ain't gonna, y'all ain't gonna understand it. Y'all, man, you dick, man. You ain't like. I know no savage ain't around this motherfucker. Like it feel like no savage ain't around for like the air. It's in like the cookouts don't hit the same. Like you go to an event right now, you know we ain't about to hear no new savage. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like that shit just like shit just hit different. Like I'm just saying it do hit different with savage and the candle. Free that man, cause I'm telling you, he fucked the rock game up. So you had to buy stuff. This shit does not hit the same. Even though your husband days are gone now for real. Oh, that shit is great. DMV rock.
No 23 Rocks, no Gunu, no Savage, and no Semi Homie. This, this shit, anything. Oh, my mother. They, it's like five, it's like three styles that left, like, left. They're like, oh, my mother, everything to knock off Savage. To not, bro, it's like, y'all ever seen Safeway? And y'all ever seen Save a Lot? It's like the Fruit Loops gone, the Frosty Flakes gone, all that. They we we on we on all the knock all brand like two yos like we got all the fake no savages, all the knock all savages. We got all the fake semi homies. We got the fake twenty three racks and the uh the fake blue news. Oh my mother, we got all the knock offs. The originals are not here anymore. My mother, I'm here all of them through a rock of other motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying about like, what the fuck is going on? They fuck the rock game, my baby mom. Like, good. they killed the best ones, like. Swipe me, y'all killed the best world. I swear to God, one thing I'm gonna tell you about the DV, y'all killed the best rappers here. I swear to God, like single handedly, like y'all wrong and shit. Like, not basketball, not football, nothing. Like, y'all talk about it all the scene. Y'all killed everybody. I swear to God, you want to know the reason the DV boy? Y'all killed everybody. I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. You crummy ass niggas, y'all killed everybody. Like, that's wrong and shit. That's why I don't be outside. That's why I don't hang around y'all. That's why I don't be in the hood. That's why I don't move like them. I can't. Y'all killed everybody. I know what the fuck y'all trying to do to me. I know what the fuck y'all did to them. You feel me? I ain't going for them. Stay my ass right in the house, bitch. YouTube is safer in the house. I be in the house. I ain't, uh, y'all killed everybody. Now I sit around this motherfucker talking about uh, y'all killed all the rappers. Like, the fuck? I quit rap. You want to know I quit? Because y'all killed everybody. The fuck? Y'all did it. The streets. The streets killed every fucking body. Y'all sit with this motherfucker talking about DMV rap got a chance. He should blow up. No, no, no. That's how the streets accountable. What about the streets that killed these good rappers? Let's talk about that. These good ass rappers. I'm talking about these rappers are good. I'm talking about good, good. They about to, man, they could change their life any second. Y'all killed them. The streets killed all the rappers. So y'all wanna talk about that? Y'all wanna sit right here talking about that though. Y'all talking about all this shit, hey, all this ad shit. Y'all wanna talk about how the streets killed every fucking rapper. How the streets just killed the whole rap game. The DC streets killed everybody. Fuck wrong with that. So when y'all talk all that bullshit, don't talk that shit to me. The fuck? Leave me alone. I ain't did nothing. Shit me. All the fucking rappers are dead. And y'all around here talking about DC rap. Man, y'all get the fuck out of here. Is it safe to be a rapper? Like, do niggas want to be rappers? All the rappers doing is die. I swear to God, rap and die. Shit be crazy, don't it? It's like this city sets you up. They let you be a rapper, make you feel like a rapper, like your pictures do everything and kill you. Shit's crazy. Like, the nigga don't even get the chance to enjoy the money. I swear to God. Y'all crummy as shit here. Y'all fake. Y'all DC got the vicious back door. I swear to God, y'all build a rap up. Y'all make a nigga out of nothing. Start liking his songs, like all his songs. Man, pipe him up. I'm talking about like all this, likes all that, listen to all this videos, hundreds of thousands of views and kill him. Yeah, I go to the next rapper, and then the next rapper died. Then y'all do it again. I'm like, damn, y'all ain't loyal to shit. Then it only take y'all a week. After a week, y'all fucking with another rapper. I swear to God, it's another rapper in a week. It's like the city set these rappers up, ain't they? I'm just blaming the city for this shit. That's the reason I don't be fucking with y'all, because it be fake little like a motherfucker. Nigga be getting no likes out of nowhere. Drop a song, y'all start liking that joke. Nigga's song start blowing up, getting views, he in videos, he getting clothes, he getting a name, he getting likes, he getting comments, he getting flew out of town, everything going up. Boop, bop, bing, bop, bing. He signed a record deal, y'all kill him. It's like, so as he signed a record deal, y'all be like, kill him. I swear to God. So as a DMV rapper signed a record deal, he died. I swear to God, all my, he even die or the bank, the label drop him. I swear to God, the shit is like a book. It's like, the DC back door. It's like, soon as y'all see a nigga ink a deal, y'all kill him. I swear to God, all my mother, this shit like clockwork. I be like, mother, they real to build a nigga up from a puppy all the way to a dog and kill him. Like, y'all wrong as shit. Oh, my mother, this young crummy as shit. Like, soon as a nigga sign the paperwork, nigga don't even get to spend all the money. This shit is crazy. This John back door town like a motherfucker. They had you feeling good. I'm talking about they had you outside on your block acting gangster. You running the town. They liking all your pictures. Everybody talking about you. All the little kids playing your music on their phone. I'm talking about you got this motherfucker in a ball. And then you die. Then you just die. And then they start liking another rapper. Six months later, they doing a TikTok challenge. Against why people be mad as shit, man. I'm telling you, man, you be mad as shit. Oh, my mother, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy, man. I'm telling you, they don't give a fuck who you is. As long as you, the next rapper, they just be on to the next rapper. Oh, my mother. There's so many rappers died. 
I be just thinking like, damn, I be like, damn, I be forgetting a couple like, damn, he died too, damn, damn, it made me think like, damn, I be saying my son like, crazy, damn, damn, all them damn. They be like, that's what the city do though, though. they build you up and you don't leave, they crack you, I swear to God. The city going to build you up. You're going to be a rapper. We're going to give you everything you want. The fans, the comments, the likes, the views, the hood popping, the outfits. You getting all the link ups. You that nigga. The bitches fucking with you and all that, man. Your ass don't leave when you sign. When you sign or on your way to sign in. Miss that book. If you don't leave, they're going to crack you. I swear to God. Somebody going to crack you. Your homeboys, you. Somebody gonna crack you, bro. Somebody hating a op. Somebody gonna go up off you. You gotta understand it, bro. If you don't understand it, it's gonna be too late to understand. They say, oh, his was hate. I ain't getting into nobody into detail. I ain't talking about no nigga. I'm just talking about rappers in general. Like, not no Pacific person, bro. You gonna build the hate. This DC, bro. You ain't running around here with no buzz for too long. And they gonna take you down. Niggas will kill you for ego. So if you got money, they. That's already like this. How crazy it is. Niggas be waiting to like it be niggas around you. This for every rapper. I swear to God, bro. Even me. When you blowing up, it's a nigga in your circle that you don't know. He waiting on you to get bigger so he can expose you or try some fuck shit or something. If he got anything on you, he can go up off you. I'm telling you, it's gonna be always one. Every rapper getting to it with a close nigga beside them when they on a on a journey to blow up. That's the rapper rule. I swear to God, every rapper getting to it with a close nigga beside them on his journey blowing up. It's the sneaky hate. The nigga hated you the whole time. He just can't control it no more. I swear to God, you ain't a real rapper until your homeboy hate on you. At least one of your homeboys that you thought was your man start hating on you, bro. Oh my mother, that's a part of rap. Even though your husband dies, I got. They say that's just you, like shit, boy. That ain't just me. You ain't nobody. First of all, you get into it with your family over money. You get into it with your friends over rap. You want to understand this shit because you ain't getting money and you ain't no rapper. Them raps don't do nothing, but nobody give a fuck about your raps. Like, when you walk outside, bro, no bitch want to fuck you because you made a rap song, bro. Nobody, so you know what I'm saying? Nobody give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't one of them niggas. You will never understand this shit. If you think you will go through the streets without getting into it with one of your partners, man, your partner got to be a hater. You got to have one one partner that was a hater before. If you ain't got that, bro, you ain't nobody in life. You ain't prevailed in life. You feel it. If one of your partners don't show you they was a hater the whole time, bro, you ain't even elevating in life. But that's a part of elevation in life, bro. You're going to see the hate in these niggas. You're in a different bracket, man. Stay in your tax bracket. Cause even though your husband days are gone, we remain your side still holding on. Whoa, wow, 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 I can't relate on hang around hams. It's cool though, bro. You ain't gotta relate. You can't relate because you ain't in that bracket. It say, but you the one doing the hating on the rappers. I ain't hating on no rappers, bro. I'm talking about niggas I grew up with. I said niggas you grew up with. You talking girl with none of these niggas. I don't know these niggas. Not 
hating on these rappers. If I call these niggas bitch ass niggas, they bitch ass niggas. Shock Lizzie never shot nobody, Fat Trail, Riff, none of these niggas. So how they shooters? You feel me? You a bunch of bitch ass niggas who went to the studio rap, rap some videos, and y'all stop believing they life story. Like nobody get the fuck out of here. Niggas ain't gangster. Niggas never been gangster. All these niggas seen me in person and asking what the fuck they said to me in person. Nothing. These niggas only speak to me. You. you put your faith in a nigga because a nigga woke up, recorded a rap song, shot a video, introduced it to the world, and you start dick riding, just thinking this nigga just the realest. Like, the fuck out of here. These niggas gonna. Niggas is fucking gonna. They say Shower's still your man, and you hate on him every day. Just think about this. You think Shower's my man. There's no shot Glizzy without me. He would have never went to them clubs and been a rapper because somebody probably would have robbed him or took his chain. He was scared to go places. His name is Shy. Name a shy nigga that ain't shy. Shy's his keyword for scurry-ass nigga. Fuck you talking about? There would be no shot Glizzy without Hank Glizzy. He would have never made nothing. He wouldn't have went to the studio. He'd have been scared as shit to go to the studio. I had to, to drop him to the studio, drop him off. I had to... Hold the book bag. Tell people protect them. Don't do this. No, you can't rob Shaq Lizzy. I got to hang on Shaq Lizzy block with him every day he outside because he not safe on his own block. I'm outside on 37 days without Shaq Lizzy just because I got to build a reputation in the motherfucking uh, set the ground game out this motherfucker for myself to let him know I ain't shy. I'm a little bit different than him. You know what I'm saying? I'm really with the workers and the workers. I be on Shaq Lizzy block to protect him. I don't be on that motherfucker because I'm from there. I'm kicking in no videos, man. Your superhero's a bitch. I'm these niggas big, big homie. Y'all believe these niggas from rap. These niggas ain't never did shit in real life. Without me, these niggas wouldn't even be they self. Bunch of scared ass niggas. No, you can't rob shot. No, you can't take your shoes. No. Y'all want to know what's crazy? Y'all ain't never y'all. Shock Lizzie will tell y'all he don't know me before he make up a story. He never said I was a bitch. He never said I froze up. He never said nothing. He never heard a story of Aunt freezing up, Aunt get robbed, Aunt lying. He never even said I'm lying. He never even said I'm lying. Everything I say, he come out and double it up. Like, he make it true. I swear to God. You ain't never heard Shock Lizzie say I was a bitch. You ain't never heard Shock Lizzie say I wasn't him. He ain't never in your motherfucking life heard Shaq Lizzie said nigga ran up on me, smacked me out, beat me up. He ain't never heard no shit like that because I'm really that nigga. He ain't never heard no shit like that. I be calling him all the bitch ass niggas. Hey, Slutty, what's up, Slutty? Yeah, I don't know. You ain't never heard it. No, you can't be Shaq Lizzy up. No, y'all can't take Shaq Lizzy chain. <laughs> no, you can't. Sub hey, bro, I swear to God, one day we was at Money Problems video. Goo walked up. This before I really do what Goo was on. I gave Goo the elbow like, oh, bro. Shot like, nah, man, that's Goo Molly. I'm like, oh, my bad, bro. Goo, he was like, nah, you good. You supposed to do that. Yeah, I know. I would have blew his ass up. He just said, <laughs> Goo, <a> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mom, we was up 37, Money Props video. I remember this shit like it was yesterday. Goo was with a, a light-skinned nigga they was walking over. So I gave Goo the elbow. So I'm like, hold on, hold on. He's like, man, he's like, nah, man. He's like, man, that's Goo Ma. I'm like, oh, my bad. He's like, nah, man, you supposed to do that. I'm like, yeah, because he's like, I will blow your ass up. Bye, bye, bye.